transformers, power input and output. Remember, efficiency is a measure of what proportion of energy is transferred to a useful store of energy. No energy transfer is 100% efficient, as energy is always wasted. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but merely transferred from one store to another. Total input energy is equal to useful output energy plus wasted output energy. We can calculate energy efficiency using the equations below. Efficiency is equal to useful output energy divided by total input energy times 100% or efficiency is equal to useful output power divided by total input power times 100%. We should also remember that power is a measurement of how quickly energy is transferred. Power is the rate of energy transfer. Power in any electrical circuit is related to the potential difference across it and the current through it. We can calculate power using the following formula. Power is equal to current multiplied by potential difference with the units of power being the watt, the units of current being amperes, and the unit of potential difference being volts. Transformers are assumed to be 100% efficient. This means there is no energy transfer to the thermal energy store of the iron core or the surroundings. Therefore, the electrical power output would be equal to the electrical power input. Power output across the secondary coil would be equal to power input across the primary coil. We can calculate this with the formula potential difference across the secondary coil multiplied by the current in the secondary coil being equal to the potential difference across the primary coil multiplied by the current in the primary coil. Let's have a look at a question. A step-down transformer is 100% efficient. Across the primary coil, there is a potential difference of 36 volts. Input current is 4 amps. The potential difference across the secondary coil is 24 volts. Calculate the output current for the transformer. Step 1, we extract the information from the question. The potential difference across the primary coil is 36 volts and the current is 4 amps. The potential difference across the secondary coil is 24 volts and we're trying to calculate the current across the secondary coil. Step two, we state the formula and rearrange. So potential difference across the secondary coil multiplied by the current across the secondary coil will be equal to the potential difference across the primary coil multiplied by the current in the primary coil. We substitute the values and calculate. So we have 24 multiplied by the current in the secondary coil equal to 36 times 4. We rearrange this to get the current in the secondary coil to be equal to 36 multiplied by 4 divided by 24, which gives us an answer of 6 amps. Let's look at another question. A step-up transformer has a current of 5 amps in the primary coil, but the potential difference in the secondary coil is 10 volts and current is 2 amps. Calculate the power output of the transformer. Extract the information from the question. Potential difference in the primary coil, we don't know. We know the current in the primary coil is 5 amps. Potential difference across the secondary coil is 10 volts. And the current is 2 amps. Step 2, we state the formula. Power output is equal to potential difference across the secondary coil multiplied by the current in the secondary coil. We substitute our values and calculate. We then get power output is equal to 10 multiplied by 2, which gives us an answer of 20 watts. Summary. Assuming a transformer is 100% efficient, the electrical power output is equal to the electrical power input. A transformer that is 100% efficient will not transfer energy to the thermal store of the iron core or the surroundings. No energy will be dissipated. The unit of power is the watt. Keywords. Transformer, a device used to change the potential difference. 
power the rate of energy transfer. Efficiency, a measure of what proportion of energy or power this is transferred to a useful store of energy.